All right, welcome everyone. Today we are going to talk about generics. It is a basic to intermediate level kind of video where we will go through what generics are, why it was created and how we can use that in our Angular applications to make it better for us to code our strongly typed. It is very easy. Without wasting any more time, let's start our video. One of the major part of any computer engineering is reusability. Reusability of code, reusability of any method piece of thing which you have written. And many times or not, in programs like Java or C Sharp, we had strongly typed language. In JavaScript, we do have that benefit. We, our any variable which we declare or even in any array, we can insert any variable which we want, any type of variable. I mean, it can be a string, then a number, another string. In an any variable also, you can set it as a type of string, then a number or any object which we want. But in a long run or in a big organization or a software which you are building in Angular, if it is big and complicated, any variable which we use in our application in JavaScript is of any type. So it can go to from Boolean to number to string, right? So if we go ahead using that kind of any type of boolean variable then we have a problem in a big complex application you will face issues you will not know that variable is it an object if it is an object what is its properties and what are different things let's go to our computer and start looking at this problem one by one in this our screen we have a simple example.ts file and in this one let's try to write a simple function right If we write with this code, you can see where the problem is. Here, this method or this wherever, wherever we are calling this method from doesn't throw any error at all. It simply would run. Let's try to run this application, change our code and run this application. So we have our program. Now let's try to run this in browser. So you can see we are getting undefined. Let's try to make this little bit more complicated. So consider we have another, we have in same object, we have another property called as C, which internally contained another variable D. So if we say, if we run this right now, where we are trying to get the value of C and then running D, we see that we will get a value printed here as 1. But if someone makes a mistake and writes V here, you see that this thing throws an error. It is throwing error because there isn't any V here at all. How would, be it, it, how would it be able to get V out of it? It's not possible, right? But there is no error thrown while we are coding it. If an application becomes too complicated, this is going to be a problem. That's where we introduce generics. Let's take a very simple example and that then go a little bit more advanced. We'll come back to this, uh, how to fix this in this, in this method. But let's start with simple thing. If we have written our function like this, where we have specified a generic, generic is specified inside angular brackets. If we have specified that, okay, this method, our custom function is of type T, it is going to accept a custom type. And then what it is going to, it is saying here is the parameter which you are passing is of type T and what it is going to return is also of type T. Let's see what happens if we try to implement it. So first of all, if you don't pass anything, it will throw error. Let's just pass obj in this thing. Now, this guy, our return value, let's see what value it returns. In x, you can see that we are getting the type of object which we sent. So if we try to use our IntelliSense, it says that if we have abc, we will use abc. If we try to write v here, and try to access it, it is not possible. 
and if, even if we type right v directly it will throw an error with this which is this is a feature which is provided by typescript and vs simply sense but if we try to compile it our angular will also throw an error saying that v it does not exist in this type this increases the possibility to catch error before it happens now one more thing which we can do is basically we can say if this is of type string if we can fix the type then it is saying error that you cannot pass a argument of a b or d type of the object which you are passing into a string so if we just pass s as a string a string then you can see that the return type is of type string it automatically recognizes our IntelliJ visual studio code automatically re recognizes that we are going to pass a value of which is of type string this will not throw an error and your application will successfully compile remember this what we are trying to solve with generics is mostly about in javascript specifically is mostly about catching issues during compilation catching issues while we are working with our code not catching issues when it is going when it is running in runtime that's why we want to we should use our basically strong typing with generics now think if we do something else let's try to solve the problem in our previous case again before that we need to understand few more things so if we have a type let's let me type something and i'll show you what it means this is very much important what we did here is if you can move if you move your mouse here let me try to just declare something of you can see what i'm trying to do here is first i have declared a simple type which is basically or uh, saying this is a type which contains two type of variables inside it a and b then what we are saying is we are declaring a new type which is which contains key of example types key of is an operator which you can provide for a generic or any type basically now this key of what it returns is basically saying that whatever keys are there these are the keys it gives this type basically will not accept anything else than a or b inside it if you have written c here then you can see this error goes away where we don't have any error let me show you once again if i comment this out we see that y is saying error c is not assignable to key of example type c is not present as an attribute of example type if we add c our error is gone with these two knowledge what with knowledge of these two examples we can actually work here so obviously first of all let's first convert this to a generic method and one thing to note is in angular bracket you can assign multiple types as many types as you want so i can say t p t r p q whatever we want how many ever types we want we can assign it or it is not required to write a single character you can even write any custom name and what we will do is in second argument in second type which is this method is going to use we are going to say something here so we are going to say that type key okay so we have to use two things here so basically you are declaring a type and since we have used equal to to our use operator of key key of in this one we cannot write equals to so instead we are using extends uh, basically whenever you write any type in here it is of blank object type of basically never type and then you are saying that whatever type you have declared which is a blank object or never extends means it, it there is a type which doesn't contain anything which is ex extending it same as when you are using class extensions when you are using inheritance it's something similar to that so this guy extends key of any custom name means basically it is saying now if we give this we'll see that our 
our application is not throwing an error here saying that v is not as enabled to be to be a value where it will only accept values which is keys of this object so we what we did here was that we forced our application to know that okay if we write c here then only it will work if we if we would have written anything else v it will not work if we write b it would know that d is not a part of b b is just a number so it will say that d does not exist in type number with this basically what you did is in your code you are enforcing rules you are saying that you are not supposed to make any error if any error is made it will be thrown while runtime or while compilation even if if you are using some text editor if you try to save all files it will throw an error while compilation it will not go till runtime whatever errors you have made if you write c this will go till runtime and your issue of that method is solved again just to recap we are using any custom type we just to shorten our names we can write t and k k for basically one second sorry this thing will be t and this is k k is type of t is a type of object which you are going to pass and k is the key of it so we can just write t here and k here and this guy will understand that the return type is of t of k means the value which you are going to return is of the object which you are sending so in this way whenever we call our method it says that the return type is going to be our object let me just show you that const x const y equals to so it knows that y is of type number it already infers it let's see one more example in our case So tomorrow consider we want to have a type where a manager and employee works together so you obviously you can do extends here but if we want to have a very custom dynamic type we can do that also So right now what you saw is something which is similar to there are two type of also operations present in your types one thing is and operator this is kind of and operator merges two kind of responses together to create a, if you have an object which is sending a parcel data and then you have basically a type of object which is parcel and a type of object which is parcel you can combine both of them with and operator and then you can see if you just remove one of them it throws an error saying that the number of employees is missing is uh, missing in type this thing but required in type manager number of required so basically it is saying that the object which you are going to create of type of manager employee needs to have both both of them then we have another operator where it is saying or manager so if we just don't write id then it will throw error or if you write number of employees and name it will work and even if you write number of employees it will work so it, it basically it is taking any of the values present in these two items if we write If we write a new parameter inside manager and do not declare while creating this object it is saying that your values which you are setting in this object should have had complete declarations of things which you wrote in either of interfaces that is or operator and operator is basically saying that you should have implementations from both interfaces to be done in this 
in this way in practical use you have basically an object coming in from uh, you are going to save information in database where you are not going to send id but when you receive information from database you need to have id you can use these operators to manage your type in that case so let's consider this example where we have a id label where the id is a type of number and then we have name label where basically it is returning a string so consider you are writing a function which basically would basically create a label and return back so you have to create these four functions in our case one is basically taking a number and then returning an id label one is taking a string and then returning a name label you have to write a custom function like this also where the number id is name or id can be sent and the return type can be of any of these number label sorry for this and the return type can be of any of these basically it is saying that the return type can be of number or label let's solve our problem by using conditional operator basically it is saying that whatever values you are going to send me whatever values you are going to pass in argument which is t if this t is a number then give me an id label if this t is a string then give me a name label so you can see how beneficial it can be you can even add whatever uh, number of n number of conditions here based on the value which was sent based on the value which was passed in argument you can choose what is going to be your return type this is the power of using type generics i know this might be a little bit complicated for basic who are beginner in angular or typescript but i hope this is helpful for someone who is either trying to move their project to be strongly typed or who wants to run generics please let me know in comments if you want more details on type there are even more operators on type like pick and return type where it infers the return type what it is going to be anyways typescript does that so i'm not going into that one and most of our cases can be solved with this much knowledge that basically says that if you are extending something pretty basically we have covered or operator and operator basic generic types and then we have also talked about extends key of and then we talked about conditional operator in generics i hope this covers most of your confusion which you have in typescript or strongly typed generics thank you please give a like on this video if you enjoyed it if not please let me know in comments i will try to improve through your feedback thank you